Tesla just announced their brand new charging standard that has some hidden features. And in this video, I'll explain how it's a genius move by Tesla and a game changer for electric vehicles. A big thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Although electric vehicles have become increasingly popular, especially over the past few years, EVs still account for only 6% of the vehicles on the road in the United States. Now, this is because many people are still hesitant to buy an electric vehicle, with the top concerns being range, price, and charging. Well, in regards to range, 300 miles is becoming a common standard and most people don't travel more than that in a single day. And regarding price, EVs actually have a lower total cost of ownership if kept for a certain amount of time compared to similarly priced gas cars. So that leaves charging as the big question mark, and it's an extremely important aspect of achieving widespread mass EV adoption, and Tesla may have just solved that problem. Before we dive in, let's take a trip down memory lane and recall a time in history where there were two products competing with each other and the chosen winner would go on to dominate an industry while the loser would be all but forgotten. An example of this was when VHS and Betamax were competing to see which would be the videotape format of the future. Now, even though Betamax was smaller and had superior picture quality, people ultimately preferred VHS because it could record for longer, which meant it could store an entire feature film, which became its main use. But for a while, it was a toss-up between the two formats, and that's exactly what's happening to electric vehicles right now, specifically in the United States. Currently, the two most popular types of fast charging for EVs are Tesla superchargers, which were designed specifically for Tesla vehicles, and the combined charging system, also known as CCS, which has become the go-to for non-Tesla vehicles. Both of these use completely different connectors, and up until recently, when Tesla finally released their CCS adapter, Tesla vehicles could only fast charge at Tesla superchargers if they wanted at least 150 kilowatts of power. And even though Tesla plans to open up their superchargers to non-Tesla vehicles at some point, that still has not happened yet. So essentially, the EV fast chargers in America are split into multiple different types that require adapters, and even with adapters, some are not even interchangeable at all. And that is the big problem for electric vehicles. It's like if a gas car could only use a specific gas station designed to fit their gas tank. But it didn't have to be this way. Back in 2014, Tesla claimed that they opened up their supercharger patents to any company who wanted to use the technology. However, some of the fine print made Tesla's competitors procrastinate and ultimately no other automaker took Tesla up on their offer because, well, they probably doubted Tesla's success as a new car startup. Now, since then, Tesla has grown to dominate the EV industry, and now there are twice as many Tesla vehicles than CCS vehicles, and Tesla's supercharging network has 60% more stations than all CCS networks combined. So with Tesla being the EV leader, along with the fact that the EV market share is still relatively tiny, now is the perfect time for Tesla's brand new connector. Now, speaking of industry leaders, that brings me to today's sponsor, Surfshark, a virtual private network app and browser extension that encrypts all information sent between your device and the internet, which keeps your online identity safe and protects your personal data from companies and criminals. It allows you to swap the real location of your device with a new one by masking your IP address, which is essential to being private online. As Surfshark makes sure your location and download history are not linked to your identity, and Surfshark also has 3,200 plus servers in over 100 countries, the first premium commercial VPN to achieve this, and it does not monitor, track, or store what you do online. But it's not just about safety. Surfshark lets you access and unblock content libraries and streaming services from other countries so you can unlock more Netflix shows and movies, for example. Now, right now, Surfshark is offering a special deal for Black Friday and the holidays 85% off and three extra months for free from November 1st to December 31st, 2022. It comes with a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out. Click the link in the description below and use my code ANDYSLY to try Surfshark today. So Tesla has officially opened the North American Charging Standard, or NAX for short. And this is basically the same physical design of the current Tesla charging connector used for all Tesla vehicles, but now Tesla has opened its schematics and is encouraging all charging networks and vehicle manufacturers to use this charging connector and charge port on their equipment and vehicles going forward. Tesla states that their NAX connector has over a decade of use and 20 billion charging miles to its name, making it the most proven in North America offering AC charging when at home, and up to one megawatt of DC fast charging in one slim package, which is insane. And they're completely right. 
As a Tesla owner, I can assure you that the NAX connector is simple and easy to use for anyone. Tesla also says it has no moving parts, is half the size, and twice as powerful as CCS connectors, and I guarantee if you ask 10 random people which charging connector they'd prefer to use, all of them would choose Tesla's design. But it's not just about the more convenient size. This new NAX connector has a lot more capability than we thought, with up to 900 kilowatts of potential total output. Now, this is obviously needed for a big, huge vehicle that requires a lot of power, aka the Tesla Semi, and heck, even the Cybertruck. But one of the best new features is the Vehicle to X power transfer. Currently, no Tesla has bi directional charging, which many other non Tesla EVs have. Now that allows the vehicle battery to become a power source for other things, even an entire house. Now Tesla says the new NAX connector is compatible with vehicle to load, vehicle to home, and vehicle to grid power transfer. If it hadn't been for this feature, then I may have agreed that CCS would have a big advantage, but now it's becoming more and more sensible for the US to adopt Tesla's NAX connector for all electric vehicles, especially given its current lead for the amount of existing charging stations already equipped with this connector. And given Tesla has been adding thousands of new superchargers every year, which is way more than any other automaker has done. In fact, there would be even fewer CCS chargers if it weren't for Volkswagen being forced to create Electrify America as a result of their Dieselgate scam settlement. And at the end of the day, Tesla is still a business trying to make a profit. And this genius business move here is that there is a lot of money up for grabs as part of the bipartisan infrastructure law signed last year that will invest $7.5 billion to build a national network of EV chargers so that charging EVs is predictable, reliable, and accessible. Now, the catch here is that to be eligible for the funds, the charger needs to be able to charge more than one vehicle manufacturer. And now, with the announcement of their NAX connector, Tesla is leveraging their supercharger advantage after all the money and time they spent over the last decade building it to be the largest fast charging network in the world. It's best for Tesla to do this now to enforce that the NAX connector will become the standard for all EVs, which gives them an even bigger lead and a potential revenue source for a very long time. And based on their track record and how they continually are adding new superchargers, there's no doubt in my mind that if Tesla gets this funding and convinces at least one other major car manufacturer to use the NAX connector, then that would start the domino effect to the standardization of all EV charging stations and massively accelerating EV adoption. Now it's just a matter of who will be the first company to step up and admit that Tesla won. What do you think will happen? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more Tesla and tech videos in the future. My name is Andy. Thank you for watching and thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Remember to click the link below to try Surfshark VPN today and I'll talk to you in the next one.